Hello everyone, it's Michael and welcome back to my channel. This is now take number three. Let's see if um, the dogs don't bark. Welcome to the October 2022 Crafty Elves Countdown to Christmas. If you are new to my channel or to my blog, um, on the 25th of each month, I do a Crafty Elf Countdown to Christmas post with my friends Deborah and Lisa. And each of us do between one to four Christmas cards, Christmas card ideas. And I personally like to include sometimes a New Year card idea or a Hanukkah card idea. And it's just a way to give people an idea of what to do for the holidays. And also by doing um, several cards a month, we, by November, we have a bunch of cards to send out to people, family and friends. Of course, I'm kind of bad at doing that, but maybe this year will be different. Um, if you'd like to get a card from me, let me know, or you know, send me a private message with your address. I'd be, I have a stack here. Anyway, for this month, um, I decided to use this cow again. I, I did a, a card, I did three cards earlier this month for National Food Day using this cow. This is a, uh, a rubber stamp from Impression Obsession. It's called the Holstein Cow. I believe it is retired, although I found one on Amazon that is for sale. It, it's a big stamp. Um, <laughs> this thing doesn't fit across a card front without like cutting off its ear or its butt. And if I do it this way, it's hard to use the speech bubble. So I, I had to stamp it and, and cut off his butt. But anyway, um, I have links to all of this in my blog post, which will be linked below also. So I wanna show you guys how I made this really super quick card. If you don't have a, ca uh, a, a cow image, um, you can find plenty online. Actually, Impression Obsession has a digital stamp of a cow in front of a barn. It's kind of like a seam, and it would be perfect to make this kind of card also. I think I may have to get that. And if you just do it in black and white or maybe just add a little bit of color to the barn, it would look fantastic. But the sentiment I, I made up myself, and it's super fast to, to pop these out if you wanna pop out this idea. So I'm gonna show you how I made this quick card. And I also wanna show you two other ideas that I, I also made using the card. This one was a little bit more difficult. I, the only thing that was different about this is I changed the sentiment a little bit and I wrapped the cow. I stamped the cow once and then I stamped it a second time and I fussy cut the second image and then I wrapped it with these Christmas lights um, that I had in my stash. So this is one of them. I don't remember the brand. I picked this up years ago at Michael's. I'm sure if you go to a Michael's or a Hobby Lobby or whatever craft store or scrapbook store that is near you, they're gonna have something like this. Um, this is from Doris that I've had in my stash. Now I know Doris went out of business, but I think another brand basically took them over. So I would not be surprised if, if this is also available. I will, I'm do, I'll do a search and if this is available, I will leave the link it below or on my blog, okay? So that was this card. And then I decided, since these two cards say Happy Moo Year, why not, if you don't wanna send a Christmas card or you don't need to send a Christmas card, why not send a New Year's card? So I used the same cow. The, the hat and the confetti comes from um, a die by Cottage Cuts. It's called Ring in the New Year. It's a big die and it has all these pieces if you wanna make New Year's cards. I just basically used the hat, the little pom-poms here, and some of the streamers here with some from different colored papers. But um, I, I might use this again to do a New Year card. I don't know if this is available. Still, I will check and have it linked below and on my blog if, if it is. As far as the different um, speech bubbles here, so for this card, I used a little, little tip and trick here. So I used this set from 
MFT Dynamics. It's called Say What. It's many years old. Um, I, I'm sure they don't make it anymore. It also came with two speech bubbles, uh, dies, the large one, and there's a smaller version also. And I'll, I'll look online again, link it below if I can find it, but this, and you know, every, every company now has some kind of speech bubble. So because this is a solid die versus this die, which is from a speech bubble set that I got from my friend Claudia here in Brazil. It's by X-Cut, and I don't know if this is still made either, but this die is not solid like this one. So when I did my sentiment, I printed them out on the computer, and um, I did it this way. And, and here's another tip. You know, here in Brazil and most of the world, except for the US, we don't use eight and a half by 11 paper, we use A4. And A4 doesn't give you two A2 sized cards. If I cut a sheet of A4 in half, the cards are four and a quarter, no, four and one eighth inches wide. Um, just an eighth of an inch shy, but if I'm using an American version of a stitched rectangle die or something, it's not going to fit on my card. So I tend to make one card base using uh, four and a half, four and a quarter inches of the card, and then the other part I have left over. And this is what I save to do my own sentiment. So when I typed up the sentiment on the computer, I centered it, and then I just put this little piece of paper in my computer and I just printed it on this scrap piece rather than using a whole piece of cardstock. So just, that's just a little tip there. So with this die, I can just put it where I want, put a piece of washi tape to secure it if I want and run it through my die cut machine and I'm done. Using this die, if I put it here, I, I don't know if it's centered, I don't know if it's too much to the right or to the left, I don't know if I'm cutting off a word. So what I do is, and I do this with most of my solid dies if I need to do this, I take a scrap piece of paper and I die cut the, the die, and I cut a little slit here, because what I can do is, after I've printed, I will put my template over it, I can center it and put it exactly where I need it. I will then put my die over this with a piece of washi tape, pull this away, secure the die with the washi tape, whoop, pull this away, and then I can run this through my die cut machine and I know it's going to come out perfectly because I use this template. So there's a little tip and trick for using solid dies. You could also um, use a piece of acetate if you want to do the same thing and I just keep this in the packaging so that I know in the future if I want to use this die again I have this to use so uh, the dogs are going crazy it's just one dog Olivia so let me show you how I made this card quickly um, I'm using my misty you can use any stamping tool you want I'm going to put my card here I'm going to just Let's see. Secure my cardstock. Yes, I know my Misty cracked. I have another one somewhere. Um, I know there's a new Misty out. I have to. I know Simon Hurley did a video on that. I'll have to check it out and maybe order one. Uh, okay, I'm just going to use this here. I did not clean my stamp. I'm just going to stamp this up quickly using uh, black Versafine, but you can use whatever ink you want. You can make this cow brown, you can make it gray. Um, I'm inspired here because we are in cow country, and every time we drive out of town, there are plenty of dairy farms and cows roaming around, and I love to see the different patterns on the cows, and the black and white one really are my favorite. Um, okay, so I got that. Using the Versafine does hide his eyes a bit, so we're gonna fix that later with some googly eyes. Sorry, Deb. My friend Deborah does not like googly eyes. Okay, so I, I got this stamped. Um, I'm going to 
put a piece of foam tape, uh, foam, fun foam. I cut a piece of white foam, fun foam, uh, a little bit shy of four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to glue this down. I do use wet glue for a lot of my projects. If you are using double-sided tape, that's fine. Um, Brazilian brands of double-sided tape are not the best in the world. So using wet glue sometimes is much easier. I'm just gonna let that set for a little bit here. I will put, I had something to put on this. I'll just put a little bit of weight like that on that. Um, as for my card base, I'm using, because it's a Christmas card, I'm using a an A2 sized card made from this kind of cool red cardstock that we have here um, with this subtle little pattern on this. Almost looks like it was used with uh, embossing, uh, an embossing ink. So I'm going to adhere on the inside another stitched white cardstock for a message or another sentiment or a stamp or something. And I like it because the inside, it's two-sided, so I could either do a solid red with this on the inside or vice versa, but I like this on the outside. I'm just going to adhere this on the inside here. Just secure that a little bit. Got this from my friend Ann. Thank you, Ann. This came in very handy. And then I'm going to adhere this to the card front. Again, I'm using wet glue, but use whatever adhesive you want. I don't know if, um, oh my gosh, an ATG gun will work on fun foam or if it's going to rip the fun foam. So I'm just going to center this here like that. I thought I had already die cut a sentiment, but I'm wrong. So I'm going to do one quickly now. So I'm just going to put this like that. Let's move this over so you can see. So. I'm gonna put that like this. I'm just going to put my die over it. Let me make sure that's the way I want it. Okay, I'm gonna remove that. I think I need a new piece of washi, but we'll see if that works. And then I'm just going to run this through my little mini machine here. It's perfect. Okay, so let's get the card base here. So what else do we need? We need his hat. So I have here for his little 3D Santa hat. I picked these up a few years ago when I was in the States. These I got from Hobby Lobby. I know that um, it is on their website. So I will link that also below, but I'm sure you can find something like this at any little craft store, or maybe you have a little die. I just like it. It's actually felt. I, I have a Santa hat die somewhere. I'm just going to pop this on him there. Then for the, for the sentiment, um, where is my black ink? So before I adhere the sentiment down, because it's white on white, I will just quickly distress the edge like this so that the sentiment pops off just a little bit, just to get the edges a little darker than the white card base. And then I'm going to put a little piece of 
uh, foam tape behind this. I'm just going to pop this on him wherever it looks like he'd be speaking. Make sure it's straight. Then to finish the card off, we got um, two little googly eyes here. Sorry, Deb. Which I'm going to, because you can see his, his, his face is really dark. And maybe if I used a different black ink, it wouldn't be as dark. But I actually, <laughs> I love the googly eyes. <laughs> I love googly eyes. Um, so we're just going to glue that down here. If you're not a googly eye fan, um, just leave them out. Leave them off, but I think he looks adorable. And then I'm just gonna finish this off with three red enamel dots from Eyelid Outlet. Uh, let's see, do I wanna use, let's see, we'll do, um, uh, we'll do a big one here on the speech bubble. And then we'll do a smaller version here and a really tiny one here. Oh. Come back here. Okay, let's do this one again. <laughs> I'm having enamel dot issues today. I'm sure my friend Sue at this moment is covering her eyes, going, oh my God, what is he doing? But we're just going to put this down here. <laughs> ah! Okay, and I'm gonna call it a day. So, this is done. Then you have on the inside, you can just write a little sentiment or something. I, I think this is a really cute idea. And again, um, here's the same card for the new year. Happy Moo Year. I, I think this is adorable. I Maybe you have a rubber stamp of a, a party hat or something. And where's the other one? This, oh see, I was doing, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? I had one here without the googly eyes that I wanted to shoot, oh yeah. Okay, so see here he is without the googly eyes and I think there's a big difference because you can't see his eyes here. And I think this just changes the whole card. And the last one, um, like I showed you before, was with the Christmas lights. Again, I like this idea. Just takes a little bit more time to make. But let me know uh, if you thought this idea was cute. Which one of these cards is your favorite? Do you own a cow stamp? I'm curious, leave a comment below. And um, thank you so much for stopping by the blog, uh, by the, the video, my YouTube channel. Uh, there will be a link to the blog post below with photos uh, and a list of all the supplies I used, if I can find everything. And love it if you could subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing the next, when the next video goes live. And leave a comment if you'd like. Thank you so much, guys. I will, oh, and the blog also has a link to the other, um, Crafty Elves. Thanks.